Hello everybody, today is Thursday, the May the 6th, I think. Yeah, the day after Cinco de Mayo. Day after Cinco de Mayo. And um, I was getting ready to bottle some beer. I got everything ready over there. And um, we thought it would be a great time to do a little comparison video here of a beer that we brewed from Mr. Beer versus a beer that it's supposed to be a clone of, which is the Three Floyds Zombie Dust that a lot of people have had and thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and this one's called Three Zombies from Mr. Beer. It's brewed using extract. Um, so we're going to do a little comparison here. First, I'm going to open the three zombies. That's going to go in our Brew Tubers official online brewer club glass. This is the three zombies. And I'm opening the zombie dust <laughs> by the three Floyds. It might be a little confusing. And this is going in. It's a glass. It's, uh, I got that glass from northernbrewer.com. It uh, says, what does it say? Brew for all, one. Brew for all, all for brew. Yeah. And it's got a little thing carved out on the bottom, so the head might look different on this one. So you can tell just by looking at them, obviously ours is a little darker, which is typical I've heard of extract. When you brew with extract, I've heard that it's typically darker. So. so they're both pale ales. And there you have 6.2 ABV alcohol by volume, and Three Floyds is out of Indiana. And Three Zombies is out of our own kitchen, right over there. Yeah. Um, and Three Zombies has the Citra Pella hops in it. I probably said that really wrong. Citra, yes. No, you said it right. Citra. That's the only hops that's in it. A lot of them. Uh, three ounces for a two gallon bag. Yeah. Um, some of them are used in dry hopping. I believe that um, day 16 of the 21 day fermentation. I'm going to say, like, it's hazy. Take it a smell of it. Take a whiff of it. What's it smell like? A deep golden color. And the head is, like, super thick. Like, it's super pillowy, this one is. This one didn't. It had a decent head on it, but it died off pretty quick. But this one's like thick. Like but it's again, frosty. that's in the glass with the carved out bottom, so that it's you can see the bubbles rising from the bottom right here. So like it's, the head's gonna stay on that one. The foam on this one's almost like the consistency of like a meringue. Like it's super thick. And it smells really good. And you can really taste the citrus in it and the grapefruit. And that one? Mm -hmm. I had that one before. I actually, this is actually the first time I've ever had this um, Three Floyd Zombie Dust, so I'm actually excited to see how it compares to this because I've had, we've brewed this four or five times now, and I love it, she loves it. And... Uh, they both have like a, this one's like a, a deeper golden, almost like an, a brown kind of. Uh, but it's like a maple syrup. It looks like a pretty maple syrup. And my eye color. It is. It's color like your, my eyes. It is kind of like the color so of your eyes. it's the color of Brittany's eyes. Very pretty. But 
Anyway. I guess. Yeah, it's super good. Try this one. It's got like a a slight bitter that like lingers a little bit on your tongue, but it like smooths out. You can definitely taste like lemon peel, grapefruit. They taste very, very similar. And you can still, but you get like the bready um, fig flavor still from the malt. On um, which one? Both of them. They taste very similar. This one just is like, has like more of a deep, almost more hearty if that makes sense. And this one is more like, I could probably pound this one or shotgun it. This one, I, this one here, I taste more of like the uh, the citra hops in this one. This, the, I feel like the hops didn't come through on ours as much as on theirs. This one leaves really good lace. But I don't. I, I'm not. A, I know that lacing needs to bubble stick to the side. Yeah. yeah I mean, they do on ours really well, too. See? Not as well, but they still linger. You know? It has a lot to do with the glass, too. It has a lot to do with the glass. You get, like, a dirty this, I believe, is a I love my brew tubers glass, but this, this one here, um, like I said, it has that carved out bottom. It's a hot shape on the bottom. It's carved out. I don't know if you video you can literally see the bubbles rising it's got like a moderate feel with like prickly cum like carbonation but it's really balanced on your palate Dexter you never join us for the video yeah, see this one I get more of a hop. I get more of a hop flavor to it. Yeah, this uh, is definitely more citrusy, but they're both super good. Like when I drink this one and then switch and get up to that one, you literally can't taste the difference. Not much. The only the only difference I taste is that that one's just got more of a little bit, a little bit more of a hoppy on it. A little bit of mellower on the top. They're both very good. Very, very good. I recommend. And remember to recycle your cans. Depending on where you live, you might even get 10 cents for I think it's Maine. It's, uh, it's eight years old. Michigan and Oregon are 10 cents. MI, I believe. Is MI Michigan? And then everywhere else you get 5 cents. Not everywhere else I like. Yeah. Connecticut, yeah. Massachusetts, Maine, New York. No, I'm going to other states you need to get out there. Yeah, these are both very good. I, I mean, I'm partial to our. I've never, I've heard of the three Floyds, and I've seen, I've heard of people talk about it. I've seen it on the internet, and I've never seen it locally, even in the craft room stores. I've never seen it. I mean, I honestly would skip past it in the store because the can to me isn't really appealing. It's not, I know, but it's not like bright or eye-catching or anything. To me, when I walk by it, it looks like something that would taste like an arrogant bastard. But like, you wouldn't think a beer that looks like this, like this hazy, pretty summer beer, come out of that dark evil family who would think they would hear like this and come out of it. Baxter. Baxter's gotta get rid of him. This is Baxter. He's, he's 15 and he's just does he's what he wants. Yeah, he's, he's a cat. He does whatever he wants.
these are these are both really good. This this one reminds me of that um more of that one that you like, the um the founders all day IPA. Kind of. I don't know. I just the founders to me is more bitter. I don't know, I'm not big on IPAs. This one's so. more citrus. The founders just doesn't have any citrus in it to me. Yeah, okay. This is like a lot of grapefruit, okay. yeah. citrus. It, it must be the hop. They must use the, the citrus hops in it because I need to taste the same hop. I can't remember we brewed a clone in that one one time we looked through. Yeah, still like has the same head too like it's still thick still frothy and still has the same consistency hard still has the head too but it's a little less yeah it's like a normal so that's yeah. that's the different one it's kind of hot but I'm sad and it looks like it's more of a fucking stuff it's not
we used to be so good in the beginning with like making labels we used to make and labels, stuff. Yeah. And then I don't know what we had. Like we just got do. busy. Life happened, you know. And yeah. We were making labels when the kids weren't going to school, and we, you were off for a little while for quite a few weeks. Yeah, the pandemic. Can you believe that it's been going on for over a year now? Uh, now everything's opening back easy. up. Kind of. Christ, my entire Tuesdays is devoted to work and then Kurt and Mike uh, Kelly and around and practices. You cart the kids around all the time. That's all, yeah, that's all I'm thankful day. for that because he lets it so I can at least sleep in until at least 8 o'clock every day. But he's got to work early anyway. He's got a job that gets him up super early. So. Yeah. And it's a, like way easier to do than it is for me to get ready for the kid. He just is naturally pretty. <laughs> I just woke up looking like this, I guess. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh! Refractometer I just got. Just got a refractometer. The, the other day I just put it away. I literally just buried it in the closet and I didn't know. Mother's Day is this Sunday. Don't forget your mom's. Call your mom. Give her a card. Send her a text. Your mom's a deadbeat. Whatever. She does. Here's the mom. So what do we think? Verdict? Uh, I mean, I'm crushing ours. I don't know. I, I didn't know it was like a contest. Like I thought we were like switching back and forth. No, we are. I just I wanted to compare them and see the how they compared against each other. Honestly, I like ours better. This one's super good, but it's like really bubbly. What one's stronger? Could be are they comparable? To me? They should be similar. Are they? Maybe, maybe, I, I did just take a picture of it, so this I can This should say right on the camera. Theirs is a 6.2 and three zombies. It should be pretty close to that. It is... Yeah, the same. The same, yeah. 6.2. Um, I didn't... I don't think I even took any readings on this specific beer. Um, just way to, to tell if it was done. It used to be better at that, too. Well, now that I have the read... But, the main reason I don't like taking hydrometer readings is because on my two gallon badges, you do too many hydrometer readings. And you're, 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 you're. You really would be so crazy. You would do like one like before we did it, and then one after, and then yeah, that's how many ounces. Does well, that's how you get it. I would do the minimum. I would do the original gravity reading, and then I would. But you would overfill it, and it would like overflow, and the thing would be like. Sometimes, crazy yeah, I, got, I had to get used to it. Yeah, this is all, you know, we just started doing this a few years ago, well, two years ago. Yeah, it was my, what, birthday present or something? Christmas, I think it was, yeah. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, look what I got you, I got you this beer kit. I was excited about it, it's really beer, and then, now it's his most favorite thing in the entire world, and he probably does it four times a week, does something related to beer, like whether it's bottling, sanitizing something. And I think about it constantly. Yeah. But he doesn't drink enough of it, he doesn't hold on to shit. It's just like, like a variety pack of beers, and I'm like, oh, no. I can't just go to town, huh? But what about the beers, crushing. like the breakfast orders, and like... Did the breakfast... The breakfast orders aren't even ours. I bought those just to see what they were like. I drank two of them, and I didn't like them, so... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, I'll mail them to you. Just message your address below and I subscribe. If you subscribe and send your address, I will ship you the beer that he doesn't drink anywhere you want. There you go. I'm telling you, but you have to subscribe. If you don't you subscribe go. and write a message, it's not happening. But I have a lot of beer and I can't promise you you'll like it. Some of them I've drawn dicks on the tops of them. Okay, well, I, I've drawn dicks on them. I hate them. Videos are. A lot of breakfast quarters, 
not for breakfast though, unless you don't have to go to work. I mean, Sunday breakfast. Mm -hmm. Go have brunch and then have a breakfast quarter. I mean, I don't do that because I got the kids usually on Sunday, but I gotta at least wait until late afternoon when it's acceptable. Well, you're gonna hear the video, so we subscribe. I don't know what the subscribe button. The video will be wherever you find it. Put it wherever you want. I'm gonna be with the video though, cause look, man, I got you. Brew World Order. Brew. Speaking of Brew World Order. What are you saying? Brew World Order. You want me to get you some order? B W O. Brew World Order. It's super soft, like it's like one of those cotton T-shirts where you like can't believe it's made out of cotton. Cotton thing. Anyway, make sure you consider joining the Brew World Order at brewtubers.com. I know, I know I said that. Baby I have a pair of wool pants. Super, super warm. But they are not his wool pants, let me tell you, because they are a size 7XL, and this pants is not a 7XL. His dad's not even a 7XL. I don't know whose pants they are. My dad used to be that large, and then he lost weight. Um, he's still pretty small. Yeah, he's still pretty small. Yeah, he's still pretty small. 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 I'm talking to the person in the screen watching this. I'm telling them that all three of us could fit in these pants. I don't even know how big that They're person is. Big. Well, we don't know. They're it could be anybody. It could be little Betty Sue. She weighs she 94 likes pounds. To not we got some corn fed bussy, like out in who knows. video's been reduced to. We're sitting here talking about corn. Okay. How's the corn where you live? <laughs> Can we end it? Do you want me to stop it? Or are we going to drink the whole beer in the video? Uh, which one is better? You haven't told us yet. Which one do you like better? I said I liked ours better. Okay, you said you liked ours better. I like... Let me try again. Also, side note, also my parents' favorite brew that we have brewed. They frequently... They have us make a case of this for they, them. They commissioned an entire couple of cases. Yeah. Yeah. Like every time they run out, they want us another one. Actually, we need one. So. Tell them we need the money up front. That's what you can do when you get good at brewing is you brew good beer. You We've had some duds though, like for real. We've had some major disappointments in some beer, like. <laughs> some of them, yeah. Every now and then we open up one up and it's um. It's gonna be flat. Did you say it's got a big flap? It'll be flat. Not like I was gonna sneeze. I guess I didn't. All right. Well, verdict is. They're both wicked good. They're both wicked good. I personally, I think I might enjoy the Three Floyds a little better, honestly. It's like, it's weird to tell, like, okay, if I'm in my house, like, want to cozy down under a blankie, this tastes really good, but for some reason, this version, the Three Floyds, tastes like I should be, like, outside in the sun. Like, it's more like, I need the sun on my face kind of beer, but this one, I can be a total bridge troll at home, not even care. But this one, I feel like... This is Snuggy beer. This is cornhole beer. They both taste the same. It's really weird. They both, I get a. I'm not a beer judge, so I don't know how to really describe it. But I get more of like a. Out of a five, what would you rate it? For 
taste. I give them both a four. Yeah, I'm gonna say like 4.25. Last beer I've ever had though, like I can't really tell you what it would be. I'm honestly like my favorite one right now is this one, but. The best beer I've ever had, I think was that, what was it, the train wreck down there in Buffalo, New York that we yes. got as a local beer. Got like a growler out of it when we were there and brought it back to the hotel room and I think we just killed it as soon as we got back. We were drunk in the end, so. We were, we were feeling pretty good down there. Pink parking lot drunk. We were feeling pretty good down there. You don't know what that means, but that's real drunk. That's, that's, that's past drunk. That's like when you go to see REO Speedwagon and Def Leppard concert. But you fall asleep during Def Leppard. That's, that's pink parking lot drunk, yes. And you sleep during it on a blanket that's not yours. Yes. That's pink parking And you get in a taxi which cab with don't. a random stranger and a random child in it. Which we don't recommend. No. Because he doesn't remember how to get home. And I can't speak. So Google gets his phone. We recommend. Drink responsibly, don't drink while you're pregnant. That's what General says. Don't drink at all, actually. It's not good. It's not good. Remember the time I was wicked pregnant and we went to the wrestling match? Like, pregnant. And Is that what we're doing? We're telling the story <laughs> now? I okay. remember we went and we were, I was like pregnant. And I remember when we went and you were super pregnant, yeah. And, and then it was, was like just, last and call I was on the beers. crushing beers. And it was like yeah. buy one, or buy two, get one free. I was crushing them. Yeah. And he could only hold three beers at a time, and he was like, babe, go with me, we'll have some beers. No, and I'm were, like, belly they would only, out here. They would only allow they would only allow two beers per person. And here we go, mosey on and up to the thing, and I'm like, hey, yeah, can I get six beers, please? And they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, can I get six beers, please? <laughs> and here I am, walking back, looking like a trash bucket at this W whatever, WWE thing. Uh, like, big time wrestling. In Watertown, New York, they were playing at uh, Jefferson Community College. No, it was the ice skating arena. No, it was at Jefferson Community College. Oh yeah, you're right. It was right. in the gymnasium. And then uh, they were selling Little Caesars pizzas for a dollar a slice. The five dollar hot and ready's yeah. for a dollar a slice. Yeah. Like, what the hey? And, um, I met... I met Kevin Nash and Sabu that night. Anybody who knows who those guys are. Did. I just rested all the beers on my belly while we sat there. There was somebody else there, yeah. Scott Steiner. Yeah. Scott Steiner was there. Yeah. Um, decent wrestling show. No, I'm reviewing wrestling shows. This is supposed to be a beer review video, and I'm talking about wrestling. Well, it was about beer. It was about us buying a lot of beer. We used buying well, a lot of beer. Yeah, I think that was just Coors Light or Todd Light or just. That was just crap beer. That wasn't. Oh, but to you, everything's comparable to a Coors Light. <laughs> Get out of here. Did you see that fruit fly? Yeah, he's after your uh he's after your three Floyds. We killed the three zombies. So I guess that that proves it. We drank the three zombies before we drank the three Floyds. Baxter thinks it's uh it's Baxter approved. Three zombies. By Mr. Beer. You basically have to end the video when the cat's bottles in it, so at this point. Go brew it. Bye.